If you're anything like us and you've never been to Michigan, or maybe even if you have, you may not be aware of the campground or the neat little community that we found that's in close proximity to destinations such as Crystal Lake, Lake Michigan, Traverse City, and even the Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore. Timberline Campground is a huge campground featuring over 200 sites with everything from primitive all the way up to 50 amp full hookup. We were here in the off season so there were a lot of open sites. There are a lot of seasonal or long term campers here, uh, but they had plenty of room. If you will be visiting during the off season or probably any time of year, make sure to look for their uh, available discounts on the website. We actually got a discount, kind of an early bird special, and I think we saved about $50 off of the period of time we were there. We, we stayed five nights here at Timberline. Catch of the day place here to hang your fish. Right up here by their fish cleaning station in case you had a successful day. Midnight. Wow, it's really coming down now. Um, there is a severe thunderstorm warnings going on right now. Uh, through 4 a.m. maybe. So we're going to sit up for a while and just see what happens. The weather in spring can be unpredictable in Michigan. So when you arrive at the campground, make sure that you know the safest place to stay in the event of a storm. Luckily, this one passed us by. This beach and the Point Betsy Lighthouse were actually suggested to us uh, by one of the locals and uh, they did say that this is a popular destination uh, for taking pictures and so on, especially uh, around sunset. Uh, there is limited parking here so they did say that if you're going to be visiting on the weekends, Friday, Saturday nights for example, to make sure you get there early so that you can find a parking spot. But I do believe that even though we weren't here for the sunset, this would be a beautiful Just about five minutes to the north of Timberline Campground lies the charming little community of Beulah, Michigan. Beulah is home to several shops and restaurants and of course a beautiful view of Crystal Lake. One kind of interesting fact about Crystal Lake is that in 1873 there was an attempt to connect it to Lake Michigan via a channel. The outcome was that the water level of Crystal Lake dropped by nearly 20 feet and uncovered several sandy beaches including the one in Beulah. Positively waggish. Um, I stuck my head in there real quick. It looked like they had some really cute art drawings. This is just like, like the furniture and the, like kind of like a home place. Um, beautiful.
a cold cricket. And oh, this place looks cute. They close at five. <laughs> Look at that dog. <laughs> Cute. Oh, look, here's some more tulips. <laughs> oh, she loves people. <laughs> Ready? Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's a full straight. A large straight. Even. <laughs> it's the question of the day. Would you give that face a piece of your chicken? We are at the crystal clean lakeside laundromat in Beulah, Michigan, right on Lake on Crystal Lake. There's their phone number. Drop off service available. It's a cute little building. And tell us what you just told them. I have a book to sign in there. Um, I just to register that you've been there and I signed it and told them that it was extremely clean and very friendly and they really are. It, it was, they were cleaning constantly every time I'm in there. And uh, very, very helpful. What you doing over there? Actually, that does not look familiar. So you, let me get this straight. You've got a screw loose. Somebody has So I am sitting, I don't know if I'm gonna get the video because I'm at a weird angle. But Joanne is taking pictures of the world record largest pie pan, cherry, oh, the largest cherry pie, actually. They made a cherry pie which weighed 28,350 pounds in 1987 here in Traverse City, Michigan. And that's the pie pan they made it in. That would have been a heck of a cherry pie. So we are getting ready to come into Leland. We're just about a mile out of Leland right now. <clears throat> I, I said I think it is known as Fish City or something like that. Fish, Fish Town, Fish Town, Fish, 
I'll, I'll have to look it up. It's Fish Town or Fish City. <clears throat> because I guess this is where they bring fish in from the lake from fishing. Um, but that's... The main reason I'm here is because, number one, Leland only has a... I think the population of Leland is like 300 and some people. Let's see. But there, it also has one unique little historic area that has a neat feature that I think Joanne will like. And so we're going to go hopefully check that out if I can find a place to park, figure out where it is, get her out to stretch her legs, and hopefully get a drink or something there. Maybe a snackage. He's been very mysterious about it. Yeah, it's not that big a deal. <laughs> But in one mile, should be fun. arrive at Leland. So we'll see you in Leland. So we are in Leland, Michigan. We're going to be going over to Historic Fish Town in just a moment. Uh, check that out. Uh, Joanne is checking out uh, one of the local stores here. We'll probably hit several of those. Uh, she's in, I guess it's pronounced Tampico, Sterling Silver Jewelry. Uh, so she's, again, she's checking that out. This also is where there is a ferry landing. So you would take the ferry from here uh, across. We'll have to see where, where exactly it takes you. I don't remember. Uh, but uh, yeah, a nice, cute little town uh, in Leland, Michigan. Serving the Manitou Island since the left of us and the water the blue of the water and then the sky the color of the sky today I don't think it's fog it's like it just it meets it looks like there's just like Jay and said it looks like somebody hung a blue curtain that just ends the world over there yeah. how did we get into this mess I really don't know how we seem to be made to suffer it's our lot in life.
Does it light up where? Cool. So if we wanted to see um, a devil's hole as a valley in the wind, the advancing dew creates the step, steep western slope while the wind eats away the eastern slope, causing it to be broken and irregular. There's that, and it shows us that it is clear back here. So this is the ding fly that's sleeping there. Um, we're not gonna make it all the way up there, but you know, we thought we might try. You know, it's thundering, it's been raining, it's beautiful out. 77, like the wind's blowing and it's not hot at all. We're almost there first we'll pop <laughs> and then there's more so if you liked this video we hope that you'll consider uh, subscribing liking the video what else should we do click the button is it a bell or a button bell click the bell <laughs> for notifications so that you don't miss out on any of our amazing future videos because oh, we're so excited amazing content and also you know go back and watch some of the first ones and then you know compare and see we're, we're only getting better so if you keep watching who knows we may be entertaining in the future wait wait See, she knows how. She just doesn't do it without. Wait, wait. Listen to me. Are you a good duck girl? Okay. So we are here um, at the Honor Trading Post uh, Canoe to Kayak Rental. Uh, they little little kind of like a convenience store. They've got pizza subs. Um, They've got some sweatshirts, t-shirts in there. They've got a campground behind there. Uh, I don't know much about it. Uh, we'll see if we can find some information. But again, this is the Honor Trading Post. And uh, I think I would recommend checking them out when you're in the area. Um, Still to come, we have our trip home. And one of the things that we're looking for the most forward to the most, and I hope that Lake and is feeling better by then, is the Llama Farm. Alpaca. Alpaca farm. <laughs> we are staying at a harvest host, which is the Lindenwoods Alpaca Ranch.